Uh, Western Sydney Wanderers versus Sydney. That was the big, uh, the big, big derby. derby. Sydney Amazing. Derby. Sydney derby. And there was a there was a lot of flowery language uh, flying around. You know, a lot of cliches flying around. And uh, Robbie Slater and Simon Hill, they they basically. They, they, they went each other like a couple of rappers in oh, some kind of rap battle. battle. This, is, uh, this is Robbie Slater before the start of the game. They've only met four times, but already the Sydney Derby has fueled an intense rivalry. The synchronised mass of red and the giant sea of sky blue. This clash has split Sydney straight down the middle. Are you a red or are you a blue? Either way, there's one thing for sure. This is football straight from the top shelf. Ooh. Straight from the top shelf. Not bad. Not to be outdone. Not bad. Simon Hill straight after that came in. Oh, it's like any vibrant newborn, full of joy and vitality. It is rather difficult to remember what life was like before the arrival of the Sydney Derby. The ingredients were perfect. The multicultural melting pot of the sprawling West and the city slickers, boats and beaches of the East. A fertile breeding ground for a derby. So, uh, what do you call it? A nil all draw there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what may have swung at uh, Simon Hill's way his ability to switch from prose to poetry. So it's the Wanderers who get us underway, east or west, which will prove to be best. Ah, oh, poetry. He's Simon. Been introducing uh, Shinji Ono, he went to haiku. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Simon Hill would have done it? He wouldn't have done it like this. Welcome to Windy Wellington, where gusty gales play havoc with the dreams of a nation. After three consecutive victories, have the winds of change stirred up the Phoenix's ashes so they can rise in an upwardly spiralling twister? Or will the long white cloud metamorphosize into cumulonimbus and create stiff onshore breezes that will ultimately fill the mainsail of a keen crew of marauding mariners eager to climb their mast? and proudly fly their Premier's flag in the sea sprayed squall. Today, the world is divided into two, those for Wellington and those for Gosford. Who will win? The answer, my friend, is blown in the wind. Oh. 